Hey guys, before we get to the video, we have some breaking news to share with you. So last week we were in Phoenix and while we were there, we stopped by Metro Center Mall to film them all. Then a week later, we, we hear an announcement that effective June 30th, that mall is closing forever. Very shocking and sad news for businesses here. Metro Center Mall in Phoenix is set to close June 30th after 47 years in business. One store owner I spoke to says they learned of the closure just yesterday and now they are left scrambling. Robles says for many of them, their livelihood is now completely uprooted. Arizona's family got a hold of the letter sent out to tenants yesterday. In it, the general manager says, quote, despite our best efforts to bring value back to the mall, complete maintenance projects and increase foot traffic, the drop in our occupancy levels due to the COVID-19 pandemic can no longer sustain the operation of this large property. Welcome to AKA Our 80s Life, where we're all about the 80s. And today we are here in Phoenix, Arizona, reporting to you from a pretty dead 80s mall. So we're at Metro Center Mall, and a fun fact about this mall is it was actually used in one of our favorite 80s movies. This mall was in? Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. <laughs> Remember the scene when they took all the, uh, the characters, the historical characters, they took them to the mall? and they pretty much destroyed the place. <laughs> that was awesome. And they, and they all got arrested. <laughs> so we are making a separate video for the filming loca locations of Bill and Ted, and we will go ahead and link that here and down below as well, so you can take a look at that video. But in this one, we're just gonna explore the mall and show you its current condition.
So where this Harkins movie theater is, um, there used to be an ice skating rink. You can sort of see the outline of it where this food court is. So it would have gone, I believe, all the way around like this, this section of the mall. The ice skating rink is long gone, but you can kind of tell where it used to be. And the anchor stores now are Walmart, U-Haul. There's also a self-storage place. So there's actually two storage places and a Dillard's clearance. Which cool thing in the mall? Truck driving school. That's awesome. Our mall has a motorcycle driving school. This mall has a truck driving school. Cool. Nice little sitting area there. It's bright and sunny. They have these really nice skylights all through the mall, so it's really bright. And pretty tile. Just not many stores that are open, unfortunately. Pretty dead. Pretty dead. Okay, what did you think about Metro Center Mall? It's a little rough. It's pretty dead. Yeah. I mean, they have like the, they have a barber shop. It's cute. They have some, you know, salon. There's a recruiting center. Yeah, there's a recruiting center for the military. There's the truck driving training school. It's there's some stores, but I wanted to go to Bath and Body Works and it wasn't even open. Yeah, most everything that's in there is just like local stores. Mm -hmm. there, there's not really any chain stuff left in there. And the chain things that were in there were closed for the most part. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we found the food court. That was kind of neat. But, uh, <laughs> I think we did see a potential drug deal going on down there. So uh, that was a little scary. Sl slash argument. We were trying yeah, to, there was a, there was a fight. We were trying to film right where they were at, you know. So. <laughs> I was, I was like, like I was no, like, get I away. I was like, let's go. I'm like, no, we're filming this before we leave. So, uh, so that was a little scary. So, yeah, it was, it was a little bit dicey. Yeah. It's a little um, sketchy. <laughs> but there are some stores still open there, and there's a Dillard's clearance. Um, and the Walmart, though, you can't access it from inside the mall. It's open. It's from the outside. So, I'm not, and I thought they had a movie theater, but then we never saw it. The movie theater's on the first floor. You just couldn't get to it from the food court. Oh, okay. It's a little confusing. The layout's a little the layout bit confusing. The layout was really weird. Yeah, we got semi lost. A lot of turns, <laughs> lot of turns and different things, and, and the first floor is different from the second floor of access to different areas. Yeah, yeah, it's different. Right across the street, there's a big amusement park, which looks kind of fun. Yeah. So it's an interesting area. It's not so bad around here. It's just the but the mall itself is pretty dead. Well, if you're into dead malls here in Phoenix, this was worth coming to check out. So hey, thanks so much for watching our video today. Yeah, and. You guys, we have an, a dead mall playlist of other dead malls that we visited all around. So we will go ahead and link that. So be sure and check that out. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And in case we don't see ya, good afternoon. Good evening. And good night from Phoenix. Side note, check out this funky super salads across the street from the mall. Isn't that weird? <laughs>